Assumption of the law of diminishing marginal utility, first. Cardinal measurement, the law of diminishing marginal utility assumes that utility can be measured in cardinal numbers, so that the utility schedule can be prepared. However, in reality, utility can be measured in ordinal terms, that is, higher level or lower level of satisfaction. Second. Continuity in consumption, all units of the commodity are to be consumed in quick succession. There should not be a gap or interval between consumption of two different units. Third, Ceteris paribus, the law of diminishing marginal utility assumes that other things are constant. For instance, income, taste, preference, attitudes, habits of the consumer should remain the same. If there is a change, marginal utility of the commodity may not diminish. Fourth, homogeneity, all units of the commodity must be identical in all respects such as quality, shape, size, color, taste and so on. If there are differences in the units consumed, the marginal utility may not diminish. Fifth, rationality, it is assumed that consumer behavior is rational. The consumer is a normal person who wants to obtain maximum satisfaction. The consumer should not be abnormal such as drug addict, drunkard, miser, and so on. Sixth, reasonable units, the units of a commodity consumed should be of reasonable size. The units should neither be too big nor too small. The units must be of standard size.